there are a number of mistakes that a network engineer can make in his day-to-day -day role. So today I'm here to tell you about some of the never-to-do mistakes for the network engineers. So hi everyone, I'm Ajay from Networkers Home Technical Team and today I'll be telling you about the mistake number one, one of the very common mistake that the network engineers make in their day-to-day -day roles. And since this is just a possibility, but if you do something like that, that can cause, you know, network outage, you can lose device connections, okay, and even can cause huge losses to your business. So let's talk about the problem number one. So if you see here on my screen, I have the problem number one here. So the problem number one is what happens when we disable or reset a port of a router or switch remotely. Now, 90% of the times you will be taking access to the device remotely and you will be managing them remotely. And if you do not verify the configurations and you directly reset the port, they can cause use losses, right? So what will be the outcome of such kind of scenario? Let's say you, re, uh, you know, let's say uh, you reset the port remotely without verifying the configuration. So what will be the outcome? So if you talk about the outcome, you may lose your connection to the device. You may lose your connection to the device. It's just a possibility, but if it happens, it can cause it can cause huge losses to the business, right? Now for this, let's talk about a real time case also with practical itself. I'll show you that okay, what is possible and what can possibly happen, right? So let's see. I have a lab here. You can see in this lab, you can see here that I'm having uh, R1, R2 and R3 and R3, you can consider that this is available in a different site. Okay. And you are the admin who is managing, you know, the R3 router remotely from source that is R1. Correct. Now what if you're, you know, getting certain, uh, you can say reports are from users that, okay, they are facing connectivity issues with the R3 or the remote site and they're using this link and through this link, you are getting issues and you know reports of different issues of the connectivity. So what you're going to do, you may see that, okay, I have another link here through which I may get the connectivity. So let me do one thing. I'll just go and shut down this port. Okay, Z0 by 0, I'll shut down. Without verifying configuration, if you take such kind of decision, so that can put you through tough times. Okay, you may have a hard time explaining the things, right? So let's see it practically and what could like let's see it practically what could possibly happen so now let me directly show you the lab so again the same lab i have here and if i show you the access to the devices so here i have r1 r2 and r3 so first let me show you r1 so this is my r1 and let me test the connectivity so I'll say enable and then I'll say ping 3.3.3.3 using the source 1.1.1.1. So if I see here, I have the connectivity. Now I'll remotely manage it. I'll say telnet 3.3.3.3 and I'll use source interface as loopback1. Right, so I have given the username admin and password. So I have logged into it, right? And I was facing, you know, uh, certain uh, reports related to, to the disconnectivity and connectivity issues. Okay, and might be I'm facing reports related to slow connection. So in such kind of scenarios, I have already seen my topology that, okay, I am right now, if you see, I'm going through the 13.3, but what I do is uh, like, I have another possible way here. Okay, like if you want to verify that also, let me do one thing. I'll just exit from here and I'll show you that if I say do trace, okay, and 3.3.3.3, sorry, directly trace route 3.3.3.3. So when I do so, you can see directly I'm going via 13. Right. And if I try to ping, you know, 23.3, that do I have reachability with the R3 or not? So if I say do ping, sorry, not do. I'll say ping 
23.3. So I do have the connectivity. And if I trace the path, do trace 192, 168, 23.3. Okay, so I'm tracing the path for this one. And you can see I'm able to reach. Okay, so again, I'm going via 13.3 only, right? Now, from here I have tested and now I'm taking access. So I'll say telnet 3.3.3.3 and source interface and I'm using loopback one. So as I took the access, admin, Cisco, right? So as I have taken the access here, now what will happen that if I go and shut down the port, so without verifying any configuration on R3, I'm directly going and shutting down the port. So the Z0 by 0 interface, go to global configuration mode, interface gig 0 slash 0. And if I shut down this port, so what you will see is that as soon as I do this, now I have lost connection. Now I do not have connection to the device. Now that is my mistake, right? That was my mistake that I didn't verify the configuration. I had to verify, but I did not verify the configuration. And since I did not verify the configuration, I lost access to the device. Now, might be possible, like you may say that now there is no possible way actually, right? There is no possible way. So if I had to go there to the site and do it, no, it's not possible, it would take a long time. If I have to wait or I have to call the you know engineer who is available at that site, so might be possible, you know, if it, it is happening in the, you know, off working hours, in that case, the engineer might not be available for another eight to 10 hours. And during that time, might be possible that your uh, network might remain down. And if that long is the connectivity down or if your network is down, then that may cause use losses to your business. Correct to the organization business. And you may really have a tough time explaining, you know, why the thing or why this issue happened. So now other than going to the R3 and you know taking access, there is no possible way we have here. Correct? So if I go here on R3, right? So if I go here on R3 and if I test. Okay. So now like here if we talk about the problems that what were the problems we faced or why did, did this kind of thing happen so let's prefer, if we talk about the root cause analysis right so according to the root cause analysis you know uh, we did not check the connectivity or route to the source that whether we are having a reverse route or backward route or not from where the session was originated that means uh, from r3 to r1 we don't have any route right we didn't check any route that whether we have a route or not first of all connectivity we had to test backward connectivity we had to test second thing we did not verify whether telnet or ssh would work well over the alternate channel or not that is backup path right so we also did not verify whether telnet or ssh would be working fine through the backup link correct so let's go and check it right so if we go and check it Let's first thing, let's check the connectivity. So I'll say ping 1.1.1.1 using the source 3.3.3.3. Now this looks fine. So that means connectivity wise, everything is okay. That means in the root cause analysis, first thing, let's say that is fine. Okay, although we did not check it, that was a mistake. So still now we checked, everything is fine. Then what else could be the issue? So let's check the configurations. So if I say show IP prefix list, is there any prefix list filtering the traffic? No, there is no prefix list. What about route map? Is there any route map filtering the traffic? No, there is no route map as well. Then what else? Might be access list. Let's check the access list. So if I check the access list, I have one access list here that says that IP access list and name is problem number one. And it says deny TCP host 1.1 through the host, like from 1.1 to 3.3. That means if source is 1.1 and destination is 3.3, we have to deny that traffic. Okay, and I'm denying here entire TCP traffic, right? So if that is the case, that was the reason that we did not get connectivity. Okay, so then how would we get the connectivity back? 
correct i have shut down the link how would i get the connectivity back so for that reason first let me verify whether this is uh, you know where it is uh, applied so if i check show running interface is it there on the gig 0 slash 1 so let's verify is it there so yes you can see here that this is applied in the inbound direction on the interface gig 0 slash 1 that is a backup channel here right so if i go and remove that configuration if i say interface gig 0 slash 1 and if i say no and i'll just remove it from my interface as soon as i remove this let's check whether or not i have a connectivity again So you can see I do not have the access right to R3 right now. Okay, so you see now our connectivity is restored, right? This time our connectivity is restored. Okay, so I can exit show IP interface brief. Now you can see again I'm on R3 and my connectivity has been restored but that connectivity would be possible only if somebody goes to the router and you know fix the access list so what you guys have to do is you guys have should remember always that before taking any sort of decision directly on the devices we should always check the configurations and we should always verify that if there is you know any conflicting configuration is there which could cause you know disconnectivity like you which can cause disconnectivity uh, with the device because if you lose the access to the device that may cause a really uh, you know huge amount of damage to the organization whether it is financial or reputational loss that may cause it right so i hope uh, you guys got a good insight in this video so this was all about you know the problem number one where you should always check the configurations before and shutting down any ports while you're taking the access remotely because you're not available physically to the device right and since you're not physically available to the device you know it's not possible for you to go there and take access immediately and it may cause losses okay and you may face tough times so that was it for this video i'll be back with another problem and another solution where again i'll be showing you what could cause the problem and how we would you resolve the problem okay so that's all for this video i hope you guys find this video helpful if you find this video helpful do like the video and subscribe to the channel see you guys in the another video have a good day bye bye